days ago, I heard that a judge recused himself from a court case because of interference by two people. This means he's no longer interested in hearing the case and has requested that another judge deal with that case. I mean, did I hear correctly? A judge making the decision that he will no longer hear a case because of what two people said and did? The court does not spell out that this interference was political, but one might assume that it was based on the people involved in the case. One was a politician and two were political appointees. So for all intents and purposes, if politicians or politically appointed people because of their actions have caused a judge to recuse himself from a case, to me, this boils down to political interference. This is very concerning and should concern every citizen of this island. So let's take a look at what transpired based on a signed order from the High Court dated July 28, 2023. This court order cites a case which was brought by the Honorable Alan Chastney in his personal capacity and in his capacity as a parliamentary representative representative from Miko South against the Speaker of the House of Assembly and the Attorney General for St. Lucia. What I understand from, from the court order is that two of the people named in the case, and they are known as litigants, made contact with the Office of the Registrar of the High Court to inquire as to the reason for the timing of the application for interim injunction that had been made by the Honorable Alan Chastney. Remember, they had tried to prevent Honorable Chastney from being anywhere near the Parliament building and he took them to court? Well, these litigants went to the registrar to make the inquiries on the same day of the hearing of the injunction. Added to that, correspondence put in into the case was given to the registrar of the High Court by one of the parties named in the proceedings for the attention of the judge. But wait for it, it was not given by the lawyers representing the parties. <laughs> what? Correspondence was sent to the judge by someone who was one of the parties in the case. I have only seen this in Mafia movies. This correspondence was copied to Alan Chastney as political leader of the United Workers Party and also to, to the General Secretary of the United Workers Party, who was not even part of the case. The court order described this as extremely egregious. And guess what? The lawyers involved in the case were not even copied on the correspondence. The court order mentions the term extremely egregious. You know what this means, St. Lucia? Egregious describes something that is remarkably and conspicuously bad, offensive or shocking. Samin, sa yo fea, pli movie pa se movie. Ini telma maledition, sa fe judge la kouwi. This is scary. I am calling on the Bar Association to clear the air on this matter because I need clarity on what this statement by a court could mean. What was done by these people who interfered with the court procedure was so bad, so offensive, so shocking that a judge who was originally hearing the case does not want to have anything more to do with the case. I need to ask the question, has there ever been a court case where there was interference by people who deemed themselves to be important and we were not made aware, whether they be politicians or politically exposed people? Think about this. If you have a case in court, political interference could play a role, probably to the detriment of your case. This is scary. And the fact that a court could publicly reveal that a judge does not want to hear a case because of the behaviors of two litigants is not just scary, it is extremely serious. We as St. Lucians have to be concerned about this. 
One of the things you should know is that whether you are a politician or you, or you are close to a politician or you have close ties to politicians or believe you're important or in a prominent position or you are a self-proclaimed judge sans papier, you cannot interfere in the working of the judiciary. In fact, politicians are obligated to keep their hands off the judiciary, much less city akolikyo. St. Lucia, I do not care which political party you support. How would you feel if you had a matter in court and some people who do not like you try to use their influence because of their positions to interfere with the case? How would you feel? Trust me, St. Lucia, we are now aware that the behaviors of two people involved in the case brought by the Member of Parliament for Miku South against the Speaker of the House and the Attorney General of St. Lucia have been described as extremely egregious. To remind you, this means these behaviors were deemed by a court to be conspicuously bad shocking and offensive my question again is can we be reassured that such interference has not been tried in other cases as i said earlier this is scary so politicians and those close to them who believe that they can sway the outcome of court cases by interfering with the judicial process need to be reminded to keep their hands off. That's not their role. That's not the way it works in any civilized democratic society that's governed by a constitution. Over to you by association, the one-time protector and defender of the constitution of St. Lucia.